Why, hello everyone, this is Filibuster Fox and I am back from PAX with loot. That's right, I've got plenty of stuff to give away over the next couple of days. Oh, these tankers need to promote, but I'll worry about that later. Now, uh, what has been going on, you may ask? Well, I've been working a lot of hours, so I haven't been able to put up the video content that I would like to. But today I am back and I am here to say a few things. First off, uh, subscribers. I love you that you're my subscribers, and therefore you're going to get a lion's chunk of the bonuses I have to give away. If you comment on this video, the first thing I'm going to give away is the League skins, because they expire in a day or two. So, be quick about it. So, if you play League of Legends and you need either Arcade Hankerum, that's Arcade Hecarim, or um, Riot Blitzcrank, I've got a bunch of keys for both, so post a comment if you need either or both. Just go ahead and say what you need, depending on how many responses I get and versus how many I have. If I have to decide between a couple of people, I'll go ahead and use a random number generator to give out as many as possible. But I'm going to give out a whole bunch of these codes, so go ahead and post in the comments. If you're a subscriber, if you want Arcade Hecarim or Riot Blitzcrank, that's just a thank you from me to those who have been sticking with me, even though I've been really lax on posting videos lately because my schedule hasn't really allowed for it. Now, you may be wondering, well, if you're giving away League skins, why are you doing this to World of Tanks in the background with a spinning tank? Well, because at PAX, I got to spend a lot of time with the people at Wargaming, and I absolutely adore the direction they're taking their company in and the way they're approaching esports now. If you've only tuned in my channel and not paid attention to what I've done with Tower Dive TV as a shoutcaster, you may not know how enthusiastic I am about esports. Esports, I love shoutcasting it. I'm very excited to see it grow as an industry, I suppose, in the United States. South Korea's got a brilliant, brilliant esports scene, but North America's really not following up as well as they could be, but it is growing fast, and there are some great opportunities. I think one of the biggest ones coming up is World of Tanks. Now, way, way back, I used to play a lot of World of Tanks under the name of Snake Guy. I was in Iron Raiders as clan leader way back when that was a thing. Clan Wars first started, we conquered half of Russia, that sort of thing. And uh, was, my team placed second in the Earl Steel match way back when, I believe. I'm um, going off old memory. I could be wrong. It could be third, but I believe it's second place. And, you know, it's just all around a game I adored so much that I actually had to quit cold turkey because it was eating my life and I wasn't doing anything but playing a roll tank. So I stepped away from it to do other things. And after playing it again at PAX and seeing the changes they've made and the direction they're going in esports, I was like, okay, I need to install this at the very least to get my knowledge back up in order to be able to doing some shout casting for it. Now let me go ahead and pick a tank here to play in the background while I just talk and we'll get some action going. I've been wanting to go up the UK tree since that's new. And I felt like I needed a fresh start with some low tier tanks because, uh, well, I, I'm i probably coming back pretty bad here. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up this Vickers Medium Mark III while I'm talking. So once again, in case you weren't paying attention, now my headset's gone out. Fantastic. It'll come back in the match. It doesn't matter. You can hear me just fine. But in case you weren't paying attention, I've got some League skins to give away with this video, so go ahead and post in the comments as soon as you can, because these do expire five days after the event, which ended Monday, so Friday or Saturday, these things are going to go kaput, so I'm going to give them away throughout the day, and uh, some through my Twitter, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, you can do that, slash filibusterfox, uh, I'm probably not going to give away any of my Facebook, but you can check me out on Facebook, slash filibusterfox, etc., but I'm going to give away some of this, and if I find some time to stream tomorrow, I'm going to put up a stream for a bit, after I get home from work, it's going to be kind of late, uh, probably about 10 central time or later. And uh, I'll play some Roll of Tanks, probably get some leveling up going. And I'll be giving away stuff while I do that. I've got some Dawn Gate beta keys, I've got the League skins to finish giving out, and then a bunch of World of Tanks gold to hand out. And if you're a new player about to start a new account, send me a message through YouTube, and I can get you up started with a special new player package. Uh, that will give you some extra gold in addition to anything you might be able to get from my stream or giveaways. Uh, that's for new accounts only. I've got some extra special codes for those. So, uh, wow, I've never seen this map before. This looks cool. Uh, <laughs> still can't hear the game, so I'm just going to go this way. But anyways, I've got some great new stuff. So if you're about to s create a World of Tanks account, 
go ahead and message me first so I can give you a code to create it with that will give you a you know, free premium tank or some extra gold. Something along those lines to help you get a nice start in this. Really fun game. I've loved it for a long time and I've never seen this map before. So I'm going to follow this group of guys over here and probably do horrible because I'm trying to talk. Now, uh, I'm not getting a very good frame rate in this because I've got the graphics cranked all the way up and running fraps does not like my frame rate, but it'll do just fine, I believe. Oh man, this tank is kind of slow when I let it lose speed. Anyways, so once again, post in the comments if you need Arcade Hecarim or Riot Blitzcrank, and I'll be handing out a bunch of those. Uh, I do thank you for being my subscribers, such like that. I am causing a bit of a traffic jam here. That's fine. We'll get past it, and we'll go on with our day. Seem to be going up on a hill here. Uh, there's the enemy base. Oh, that's a neutral base there. That's new. They added neutral bases, and I've seen that before, but I haven't really uh, looked at it that much. Uh, let's go and turn up the volume so I can actually get my sound back. Would be nice. Anyways, so as I said, Dongate. League skins and World of Tanks gold, plenty of that all to give away. Plus, oh, I almost forgot the great thing. I spent a lot of time talking to indie game developers. They're going to send me some press copies of games that are on Greenlight or Kickstarter, such like that. And I'm going to be showing you these games, giving you some of my opinions about them, as well as uh, I possibly even talking to some developers on Skype while I play the game and doing like a little live stream or something where you guys can come on and ask the developer questions and, you know, fun. Oh, God, the physics are cool. Uh, you can come on, ask the developer questions, such like that. I'm going to try to arrange all sorts of cool stuff like that over the next week or two or three, maybe, depending on how much time I can get away from work. Oh my goodness, work takes so much of my time. Uh, but yeah, so that's coming up. Lots of indie game stuff there. I didn't spend a whole lot of time looking at the big stuff like uh, Elder Scrolls Online or the Xbox One or PlayStation 4, simply because I knew there would be tons of coverage on that, and I wanted to give the little guys a little more of the limelight. I say little guys, you know, I'm littler than they are, but, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, that's Matilda, oh my god, I can't win the fight against this Matilda. So I'm going to hide behind this rock here for a bit. Oh, shit, M3 Lee. Please don't have angle on me. Don't have angle on me. Yes! Okay, he's dead. Oh, shit, we're coming in. Okay, anyways. Uh, so yeah, that's coming up, and I'm going to be playing some World Tanks throughout the rest of this video. You've heard the main announcements, lots of content from PAX coming up. Uh, may start doing some board and card game reviews, we'll see how that goes. I tried out some really cool ones over at PAX, and I'm coming home with a couple like the Pathfinder card game and Cards Against Humanity, stuff like that. It's great fun. I'm looking forward to getting some of that going. Uh, beyond that, uh, look for some live streaming content. I'll try and post a little video prior to it on my YouTube channel. I'll give you guys some warning when I'm going to start, as well as going on my Twitter and doing that. So I'm going to be using my Twitter a lot more. Previously, you should well know that... Oh, shit. <laughs> you should well know that I didn't use Twitter much before if you ever checked it out, but now I'm going to. It's on my phone. I'll be able to check it out quite nicely. Uh, that said, let's go to artillery. That's going to be a little easier for me to talk over. Uh... So yeah, reminder, post in the comments here if you're a subscriber and want to have at those skins. I do ask that. It's mainly for subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, you can go ahead and post, but I'm going to prioritize the subscribers in there because they have been sticking with me and helping me out. So thank you, subscribers. Uh, I'll be getting those packs interviews up as soon as possible. There's a lot of editing involved. It was really loud. I'm going to do my best to kind of equalize the volume a little so you mainly just hit the interviewee and not all the background noise. Plus, I, my game footage is B-real since I couldn't get a direct feed or anything like that. So it's me camcording the gameplay. It's not fantastic, but it's better than nothing. And I will hopefully be getting a press copy of a lot of these games that I'll be showing you, be able to show you a little more in depth. There's some pretty exciting ones I'm looking forward to showing off and trying. Uh, so that's going to be fun. If you guys have any questions about anything, if packs or anything, feel free to send me messages. I'll uh, be especially responsive to those over the next week or two. Um, that pretty much covers the announcements. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see anything in particular, uh, World of Tanks, World of Warplanes will be playing a bunch soon, as well as Europa Universalis 4. I plan to do a good video on that when I get around to it. All sorts of things. It's been so hard to sit down and find the time to do it recently. Uh, Alright, so 
once again, in case you weren't paying attention to the whole video, I've been saying the same thing over and over, but I'm just so excited about it. If you don't have a World of Tanks account and are interested to try it, go ahead and send me a message, and I'll get you some nice starter stuff to work with. I'm going to have to move here. I'm going to die if I don't. Uh, and anyways, so, yeah. Once again, this is Phil Buster Fox. I'm back. I'm back again. Can I break that? Yes, I can. Screw you, end of rail thing. Let's get somewhat safer over here. Okay. Back to artillery. So, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to message me or contact me on Twitter. I'm gonna respond to Twitter very nicely. That's probably gonna be the easiest way to get a direct hold of me over the next couple of weeks. Uh, a lot of possible changes coming up as well as probably going to have to work a lot of hours, so still not as many videos as I should like to give out, or post, not really give out videos, uh, but I will be doing my best to get back on the posting train. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just going to finish out this match with the video. Uh, if you are not interested, please stop now. I'm not going to say anything important, and if I do, I'll put a note in the comments or an annotation about right here to let you know, hey, I did actually say something important, but mostly, I'm just going to be talking over this. Let's do a little relocation. Oh, tank destroyer. It's dead. Let's see if I can kill this LTP. Learn to play. Code name 47. Cod name, rather. So it was pretty fun. I went to the uh, 100k open at PAX for World of Tanks. Got to see that play. Uh, interesting enough, one of the players in there is Soviet with the 13 instead of IE. Uh, I used to play against him a lot in solo queue back towards the launch. He's the only name I recognized on there. I may well have known players and they either changed their name or just flat out forgot their name. But I remember the Soviet. It was good to see him playing at a professional level and earning some money from playing World of Tanks. Kind of makes me wish I had stuck to it. I would probably be pretty heavily into the pro scene right now if I did, but uh, honestly, I just I just had to get away from it. It was, it was too good a game. It ate my life. Ever have that problem with something that you just had to quit because you were addicted to it? You know, drugs or World of Tanks. I've only played a little World of Warplanes. I'm pretty terrible at it. I'll probably do a video on that as well. It's a lot of fun. It's actually set to release later this week. And I'm keeping a close eye for any news about World of Warships, which is the one I'm most excited about. You may or may not know this, but I was in the Navy, and you all know briefly. And then uh, Warships have always been a big thing for me. I'm very excited for that game. And hopefully it will live up to my expectations and be absolutely fantastic, like these other two Wargaming titles. Oh, Goodness, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, I got back from uh, PAX and immediately pre-ordered like uh, a year-long premium package of World of Warplanes and bought a bunch of gold. Fix up my name so it's actually Phil Buster Fox in the game. Yeah, see, look at her, Phil Buster Fox 1, Lloyd GC. Um, gun carriage. But, uh, yeah. I got to interview the uh, esports manager for Wargame America. Uh, Caleb Fox, he's a fantastic guy. That video will be posted up. Uh, we actually talked more afterwards. I wish I had brought a cameraman to... Uh, uh, the Artie's running around like a tank for a better shot. That's why. Come on, you can... Shit. Now, set up for a shot when the scout comes around the corner here. Tank destroyer already mode. Already got nerfed so bad. They're kind of bad now. It's a little disappointing. I was warned, uh, Caleb Fox, that esports guy I was talking about, warned me about it, how artillery were bad now after that last patch. And they, they kind of are. Jeez. Uh, Is he coming this way? No, he's not. I gotta. 
gotta be looking. Damn it. Okay. See if I can stop the cap here or if they're gonna come help. I do not have a shot at this guy. Do it the old fashioned way. Alright, here I come, guy. I know I can't kill you in one shot with this gun. But I gotta stop the base cap since my TD is AFK and my light tank is pinned down. Hi. Shit. Really? So it's gonna go down? Ha! Ah, okay. Well, he wasn't really paying attention, was he? Alright, tank destroyer mode. Come on, light tank, I need you. That was close. Ah, missed. Run, 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 run. Ah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get a shot on the other guy. No. All oh, right in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking all day long. Okay, I got this. Got this. Which way are you looking? Can't see. There he is. Shit. No, 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 go away. Get him, get him! Yes! Okay. I got your back, other guy. Let's do this. Ready to fire. Here we go. Here we go. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Fire! Fuck! Target unlocked. Okay. Got this. Come on. You distracted by the tank destroyer. Damn. Ah, oh, he missed. Screw it. Ramming speed. Whatever. I distracted him. It worked. Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah. Okay, everyone. To wrap up, this has been Phil Monster Fox. And uh, I've apparently been playing some World of Tanks. And tons of pack stuff coming up. In case you missed it all the other times I said it, please post what kind of skins you need for League of Legends. Arcade Hecarim or and or uh riot blitzcrank the dawn gate keys and the world of tanks gold will be given out later although if you don't have a world of tanks account and want to make one send me a message and i will send you a gold code for that for new accounts only uh so uh the first one will probably get something special as well uh we'll see i've got one special first time code unless one of my friends is like hey i i want to make an account Actually, I know someone. But if you beat him to the punch, I'll go ahead and give you the special one. But we'll see how that goes. So this has been Filibuster Fox playing some World of Tanks and giving you a quick wrap-up after packs. Again, once again, stay tuned for lots of indie game content and uh, some packs videos. And we will see where the next couple of weeks take us. Stay tuned and have a wonderful day.